You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. And finally, after a two-year pandemic-induced hiatus, the Cambodia International Film Festival has finally returned for the 11th edition of 2022. The festival's opening ceremony was held at the Chuck Tomok Conference Hall in Phnom Penh on Tuesday, 28th of June, and began at 5.30 with a star-studded red carpet. EAC News reporter attended to an opening ceremony and got the taste of what's happening this year's festival has in store. Hundreds of filmmakers, celebrities, influencers, and ambassadors from different embassies walk the red carpet and pose for pictures in front of the photo wall. The Minister of Culture and Fine Arts, Puang Sakona, arrived on the carpet in high spirits and was greeted by the festival director, other organizers, and ministry officials. Speaking with EAC News, she remarked on how this festival is a sign of a return to normalcy and was only possible because of the royal government's successful efforts to manage the spread of COVID-19. Liak Lida, the CEO of LD Pictures, who was awarded the SIF 2020 Talent Award for Best Producer, was also walking the red carpet and said he has been looking forward to the 11th edition of SIF, especially since two major feature films from his production company are showing at this year's festival. <laughs> He also spoke a bit about what his production company has planned for the rest of the year and how he hopes to strengthen the output of Cambodian films for the international market. Invest <laughs> Singer-songwriter Sin Set Sochata said she was excited for the festival and had been to a few previous editions of SIF before, but this was the first time that she had been invited as a performer. It's been a long time that we missed gathering like this, like in, in a huge crowd like this, and of course, like I really miss performing on stage, and tonight is going to be an amazing night. On what films she was most looking forward to seeing, she said there were many, but her interest was mostly drawn to the varied selection of local Cambodian films. And actually, there's a lot of uh, film that I've uh, been looking for, and of course, like the local film, which I think it's a rare opportunity for us to watch a local film like here in Cambodia. So it's like it's a good chance. Influencers JJ and Teacher Michael both said this was their first time being invited to SIF and were happy to be present in the lively festival atmosphere. It, it's amazing for real. Uh, it's, it's like something that, that they should done like every year but because of COVID so yeah there's like delay and something and, and now they're getting back to it and I have a part of it that's just so excited for me. Yeah, I am. I'm really excited. Um, I'm looking forward to the White Building. I haven't seen it yet so I'm really anxious to see that. Yeah. Inside the iconic Chaktamuk Conference Hall building, VIP guests were able to grab refreshments and snacks before heading upstairs into the theater for the start of the program. The hall, which has a capacity of over 500 seats, was quickly packed with guests eager to see the films and performances in store. 
A short in memoriam video was played first to remember the lives and accomplishments of all filmmakers in the Cambodian film industry who passed away between 2020 and 2022. The short film Tourisme au Cambodge was the first film screening of the night, showcasing incredible footage of Cambodia from the 1960s. Performers from Pha Pon Lu Salapak then took the stage for a jaw-dropping circus performance full of acrobatic feats. <laughs> The CIF 2022 Talent Awards were announced by actress and Miss Universe Cambodia 2020 Sarita Ret, who had previously won the 2020 CIF Talent Award for Best Actress. The Minister of Culture was invited to the stage to present the Talent Awards to Mung Sarit for his art production work on Ritipan's recent film Everything Will Be Okay, and actor Huot Sitan for his role as Sam Nang's father in Kavich Niang's White Building. Two other short films, Frankie the Dinosaur from UNDP's Don't Choose Extinction campaign and Tasty Drops made by Cambodian indigenous filmmakers from the Bopana Center were also screened and singer Sin Set Sochata made the audience swoon with a performance of some of her biggest hits. Towards the end of the program, the Minister of Culture, Phuong Sakona, delivered the official opening speech for the festival, expressing her support and appreciation for SIF and its contribution to Cambodian culture and cultural promotion on the international stage. From 28th June to 3rd July, the 11th SIF is presenting 144 films from 26 countries, all free of charge, at all major cinemas and other venues across Phnom Penh. Of the 144 films being screened, 62 are Cambodian. This year, the Australian Embassy is also acting as a major contributor to the festival to commemorate the 70th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Australia and Cambodia. A special panorama of Australian cinema will showcase 20 films from the land down under, including 2019's Buoyancy, which was filmed in Cambodia with local actors. The Cambodia International Film Festival is the country's largest international film and cultural event. It is organized by the Cambodia Film Commission and the Bopana Center and hosted by the Ministry of Culture and Fine Arts. Initiated in 2010, the festival acts as a catalyst for the film sector initiative, gathering more than 20,000 participants each year. SIF also acts as a bridge between Cambodia and the world through the universal language of film and culture, promoting the circulation of films within the region as well as promoting Cambodian productions. What? The 11th edition of the Cambodian International Film Festival is finally here. After two years of the COVID-19 pandemic, we finally can return to this wonderful festival atmosphere. And today there was a huge turnout at the opening ceremony. A lot of celebrities and ambassadors from different embassies, as well as the Minister of Culture and Fine Arts, came and walked this red carpet. And you can catch the rest of the films from this whole festival from the 28th of June to the 3rd of July. There are close to 150 films that will be shown during this week. So I hope that you come and check it out. Darshana Gauchen, EAC News, Phnom Penh.